So the reason, one of the reasons the question is relevant is because the United States views this as a matter of its national sovereignty, and as, as does the UK, as does Germany, as does France, and so it keeps coming up over and over. And what they say in response to the question of where is the proof is that this type of disinformation campaign is, is intentionally difficult to find hardcore proof of. It's, it's other factors. And what the experts say is that this couldn't have been faked, that it's not one factor, that it's a hundred factors that point to Russia. They say it's the forensics, it's the digital fingerprints, it's the IP addresses, the malware, the encryption keys, the specific pieces of code, that all of them, all of them point to Russia and none of them points to anyone other than Russia. What fingerprints, or hooves prints, or horn prints, what are you talking about? IP addresses, they can be invented. You know, there are very many specialists that can be invent, that can invent or uh, fix it up. You know, a, a, kid of your, a kid of yours can send it. A three-year, your, your girl that is three-year-old can perpetrate such an attack. And they present it like this. They can pass it off like this, and they can, these specialists can invent anything. And then they will blame someone else. These are not proofs. These are trying to shock responsibility. And we don't have the problem. The problem is inside the American policy. The Trump team has turned to be more efficient during the electoral campaign. Sometimes I thought that, well, he overdoes, he overkills, I thought sometimes during the campaign. But it turned out that he was right. He's been able to find approach and to reach out to those electors whom he um, hoped for, and they voted for him. And the other team, they made a mistake, and they don't want to recognize this mistake right now. They don't want to say that they were not wise enough. It's easy to say it's not our fault. It's all. It's it's the Russians. They intervened. They interfered. It's like anti-Semitism. The Jews are to blame. You are you are an idiot because the the Jews are to blame, right? And uh, you know what such such moods lead to. They will not end up in nothing good. One should work and um, think how to rectify things. And you have mentioned disinformation. What is information? One of the one of the stove stove piping facts by hackers is that uh, one of the leaks by hackers is that the um, head of Madam Clinton's electoral office was not behaving properly against uh, with respect to other candidates of the Democratic Party. But then, when that appeared in public, she acknowledged it was true and she handed in her resignation. So that was a truthful fact. And who was the author of the leak? Does not matter. It is important to have a look at that, consider that, apologize to people and say that we'll never ever do that again. But what did they do instead? They said, it's not our blame. It's, a, it, it's the Russians. Were, were it the Russians? Dealing with all that, trying to rush one of the candidates of the Democratic Party in prejudice of someone else, it was in between themselves. Just stop that, please.